All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, John Boy Media Football, doing another draft film breakdown on a guy I really, really like. And I think he's interior offensive line number one in this class, and that is Minnesota center John Michael Smits. I can see this guy going anywhere between picks 25 and 60. One, he I believe he is the best in this class, but he's also 24 years old, so he's a little older. He's not like a surefire, like first round athlete, but he just plays a position former wrestler and he just you can tell like he really really understands leverage and it's hard to find negative plays on this guy so let's get into it make sure to uh like and subscribe john michael smith we're going to go through pass pro first obviously lined up here at center and you just see how active he is to he's gonna he's gonna be aggressive in his pass pro pass pro isn't pass passive so first, we're setting to the full man. We got that head-to-head -head relationship. And hands land. Bam. Inside. Good pad level. We're underneath his pads. And extend those arms. Like he's trying to... You see 58's trying to rip those pads. Extend the arms. Keep your feet square. Move within the block. Awesome. Next play. Jump to him. Land your hands. Keep your feet square, good knee bend, extend those arms. Again, just keep your feet moving within the block. And you see he's got that grip strength. And just kills the will of the rusher. Next play. Again, patience. They're sending a blitz. He gets depth. The back picks up the wrong guy. He's supposed to pick up here. Punch land. Bam! You see that? See the knockback in his hands? Bam! Just Stonewall stops the defense alignment in his tracks. And just keep your feet moving with it. Awesome stuff to, despite there being chaos around the quarterback. Here versus Purdue. We're controlling the rep. We got Madness back here. Again, setting towards this 2-eye. Quick off the snap. First step. Second step, not clicking your feet together, staying balanced, land your punch, keep your feet moving, extend, <clears throat> able to mirror with them, just awesome, awesome pass pro stuff. Able to mirror on this next play. Again, patience, putting that feeler arm out there, and then bring the left hand, bam. Put it under that pad. You've got good leverage. Keep your feet moving. He wants to counter back this way. We're here. We're in his chest. We've got hands on him. We're stronger. We're going to keep our feet moving. Dominant rep. And then I want to go through some pass pro reps of him using hand replacement. Again, this is, this is NFL type technique. First, you just see the strength. Like 58 trying to break, you know, swipe those hands off. Nope. Land your punch. Keep your feet. Good leverage. You got this left hand starting to slide a little high. Watch it come back in. Bam. Get it back inside. And you're dominating the rep. Next play here versus Ohio State. Set towards him. Defense alignment gets under his chest a little bit. See, he raises the pad level. Watch him re-anchor, and then watch that left hand. That left hand's high. Put it back in his chest. Awesome stuff. Here versus the nose. Get some depth. Give yourself some space to work. Hands land well. Rotate that right hand. Put it back in there. Dominant stuff. So obviously really, really good stuff in pass pro and able to replace those hands, which a lot of guys, they don't do that. Like once they get hands broken off of them or their hands don't land well, they're not able to like do that within the rep. And you just understand when he has the grip strength and, the, and he works leverage really well. Here in the run game, you're going to see him in zone. I mean, it's fun, fun to watch. And this is where like the wrestling background really shows up. Just watch the urgency to get off the snap. Bam. I mean, we're landing with power. We're getting our helmet placement. 
We're flipping our hips and we are getting low. We are working leverage and we are pinning 92 in the fucking dirt. I mean, just dominant rep. I mean, just from start to finish. Just quick. Land, helmet placement, flip your hips. I mean, he does it quicker than I can even say it. Here versus Purdue. Finish. Getting off the snap quick. Keep your feet moving. Get to that placement. He's got his hands inside. Keep your feet moving. Block through. Block through. Fighting for the angle. Hands inside. Keep your feet moving. Put 92 in the dirt. Next play. Get off the snap quick. Low pad level. Get your hands. Move your feet. Flip your hips. Seal it off. Give your back a gap. By the way, I should have mentioned this at the start. I don't have 2022, all 22. So this is 2021. So there's been growth in his game since then too. Next play versus Ohio State. Touchdown, John Michael Smiths. Get off. Get low. Get your hat placement well. Keep your feet moving. 92 wants to, wants to redirect, wants to swipe you. And you just see him shift his body weight. Get leverage. Get underneath those pad levels. And you seal it off for a touchdown. So it can be a little herky-jerky too in some of his base blocks. Lands well. And you see the kind of like it turns into a wrestling match. But he just has such great grip strength to stay in this, keep his feet moving, and finish blocks. But this next play. Now, he has lean when he gets off in the run game, right? Good first step. But we're leaning, right? We're trying to get pushed down at the goal line. And that can and he gets a good angle too. Like that's exactly where you want your helmet. But when you lean, guys can slide off and counter off of you. So just a little better posture in this would make this block better, right? Where if we're not leaning into this, it's not as easy for this D lineman to spin out. And if you see him redirecting this way, you can move your weight and move your hips over. But you see he gets, just gets that initial push. Like you see the strength. I mean, he gets in dude's pads. Look at that leverage. Look at that pad level in his chest. Keep your feet moving. Bat, 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 bat. Just finishing blocks. So, again, I think he's interior offensive line one. The only reason he wouldn't be is because of the age at 24 years old as a, as a redshirt senior. But... You know, he went down to the Senior Bowl with guys who are right in that conversation, like Osiris Torrance and Steve Avila out of TCU, and he was the best one out there by far. I mean, he might have been the best player at the Senior Bowl. It was really, really impressive. Um, and we, d I did some breakdowns of his one-on-ones and some of the other videos we have. So, really, really like John Michael Smiths. So, like and subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Check out the playlist. Appreciate you guys. See you on the next one.